but here in our society, what's the single most price, what, what's the single most important price any society faces? It's the price at which we discount the future against the present, which is to say interest rates. And currently, those are, that price is being sent in a central department of central planning uh, called the United States Federal Reserve. Now, my worthy opponent, uh, Eric Posner, believes that we need government to manage that. What did he say? We need government that can, uh, needs to address the money supply to manage the economy. People like this, is, uh, you have to, when you, when you s I, I think of there was a great London School of Economics professor who s described certain people's mentalities. The economy is like this big engine and they're the workmen with the baseball caps and the coveralls and the screwdriver, and only they know just how to fine tune it, just how to get the carburetor right and such. And you got it when you hear that. Remember the Dilbert strip, the, the pointy hair manager in the corner who always, he knows what's best. He's in the corner. He knows better than those people out on in the cubicles do. He knows what's best. You know, what could possibly go wrong? Every day he's got a different solution to something. And that is the mentality of the people who think that we need government to do all these things for us. They need to manage our money supply for us. Well, here's a different way to think of it, how we used to think of it. We have to communicate with each other information about value and scarcity. That's what a price is. It's, it's a packet of information about value and scarcity so we can all communicate to each other. Uh, we want a form of money that we can communicate that information to each other without having to go through some field, some f form uh, by which we send that signal through some field that a any government Mandarin controls. Then we can really communicate the truth to each other.